Um, good evening, if you're in Liberia. Good afternoon, if you're in the United States. It's uh, 3 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. in the um, on the East Coast, um, and it is 7:02 in uh, uh, in Lib in Lib in Liberia. Now, folks, share this podcast. I'm going to drop a bombshell that is going to rock some people's word. Oh my God, it's going to rock some people's word. It is a terrible, terrible bombshell. Uh, my God, my God, my God. You will be disgusted. Those of you who, uh, are supporters, those of you who say, uh, Hosanna, Hosanna to these people. <laughs> You will just be second to your stomach. Oh my God, second to your stomach. Share the podcast. It is not easy. I don't want you all to miss anything at all. You do not want to miss absolutely anything that I have to say. This is sad. It is sickening. It is sad. You know, in life, there's something called uh, vindication. Vindication is... When you've been saying something all along, and I'm not even starting yet, we, we, we gotta hit a thousand. So you gotta make this podcast, we, we gotta hit a thousand before I even begin to speak. Uh, you know this thing where, you know, people have this tendency when something happens and, um, and you say and you talk and you talk about it and some, a lot of people, you know, those who favor that person would be doubtful of, uh, you know, what it is you're saying and, 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 and then, bam! the person does something terribly, terribly bad, so, so inexcusable, so indefensible, that just makes it all so e easy for you to prove the hard evidence about just how bad this person is. That is exactly what has happened here, folks. So, share the podcast. Um, when we hit a thousand, I will drop it. It is nasty. It is shameful. It is disgusting. It is criminal in nature. The thing I'm about to tell you, it is criminal in nature. And it just tells you the state of the person's mind and why this person should never have power. Mm -hmm. That's how criminal it is. Ooh, we're at 900. We're going to hit a thousand. Well, under a minute. We're going to hit a thousand shortly. Keep sharing the podcast. This thing is bad, it's nasty, and I want you all to have an all open mind. Those of you who support this person, you, 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 just have an open mind about, about this, because this is just bad. <sighs> just sad, just sad, just sad. Now we're at a thousand. Of course, we're going to keep going. We're, we're at a thousand. Now, folks, you know, there are just some things that are inexcusable, and there are some things that you just cannot keep quiet about. You know, sometimes people will tell you, you know, we got to maintain, uh, we got to maintain peace. We got to maintain, uh, you know, cohesion within the CPP. We got to make it work. This bombshell is not about the government. It is about the CPP. Yeah. Our own political organization. That is what this bombshell is about. And, and they have this thing where uh, people tell, tell you, oh, you know, the person is not as bad as you think. And the person is not a bad person. As a matter of fact, he's a good man and he's dizzy, he's daddy, all that kind of stuff. Bam! You get the hardcore evidence that he is nothing but a sleazy criminal who pretends and masquerades as a decent person. Ha! Then you say to yourself, praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, is the evidence that he's nothing but a damn criminal. That is what it is. This is not propaganda. This is fact. Ladies and gentlemen, where do I begin? Where do I even start? Do you notice the, the feeling of vindication? <laughs> ah, the feeling of vindication where you've said this person is not what you think he is or oh, he's a nice guy he's a this he's that the feeling of vindication and finally you get vindicated the person does something that is so clear so indefensible so inexcusable so blatant so bad so criminal that it just speaks for itself that is exactly what this is we're 1,500 people. I didn't even start talking here. <laughs> 1,500 people. Keep taking it up. Keep taking it up.
Keep taking it up. Woo Some people are just so desperate and just so criminally minded. And the worst criminal is the man, is the criminal who pretends to be a saint. The worst criminal is the criminal who pretends to have integrity. The worst criminal is the criminal who talks down to everybody else and plays this and plays this self-righteous nonsense that he's better than everybody else. That, my friend, is the worst criminal. Are you ready? We're 1,700 people. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk. We're going we're, we're gonna to hit 2,000 people before I even start talking. 2,000 people. This thing is stupid. 2,000 people. Let's take it up there. It is sad. But you know, they say, by their fruits, we shall know them. And you know, when, when they expose themselves by their shady criminal deeds, then we will weed them out. We will weed them out. Before the CPP boat can arrive at its destination, which is the executive mansion and the legislature, they both will rock. Some people will get thrown overboard like Jonah, or some people will run away and will throw themselves over, overboard. But in the end, this vessel will arrive at its destination. Vindication, folks. Vindication. They're on their knees, begging right now, begging, on their knees, begging, begging for forgiveness. Please forgive us. Oh, we did that. Oh, we did that. We are so sorry. Let us yell it. forget it. You, you committed an egregious crime and you're begging for forgiveness? Ha, ha, ha. All right. Yeah, where's 1,700 1, people? So now I will talk. Fine. We'll get up there. Now, folks. The framework agreement of the CPP. It is the document that guides the, the CPP as a political organization. Four political parties committed themselves to the tenets of the framework agreement as their constitution, as their organic law. It guides everything they do from who gets qualified to become standard bearer to when the uh, uh, the convention uh, uh, for when the convention for standard bearer is held, and uh, to you limit the mechanisms to resolve conflict when there's conflict that arises, how they, it can be resolved, and all those things stipulated in a framework agreement. All four political leaders signed the framework agreement. There were five copies. Each political leader signed, the, the, there were five copies that each political leader signed. Each leader signed five copies. Why five? One goes to each party and then the fifth one goes uh, to the, uh, they, they send one to, the, yeah, five copies. They, they signed five. They went, went around. So they have five copies of the document. Five original copies of the document. Mr. Alex Cummings was the chairman of the CPP at the time. We all know that. It's inexcusable. No, no, nobody can argue it's inarguable. He was the chairperson of the CPP at the time when they signed it. They signed five original copies. One copy is supposed to be for each political leader. And the fifth copy goes to the National Elections Commission. <laughs> so they signed the document. Mr. Cummings was supposed to send copies to his colleagues. He did not do it. Okay. So you know how Liberia is. Sometimes people get relaxed. You know, you trust your partners and you're like, okay, fine. You know, so he didn't send their copies. He was supposed to send all three of them, Honorable Yuri, Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence, former Vice President Joe Barker, each of them one copy. And then he keeps his copy, making the four copies, and then the fifth copy he submits to the National Elections Commission. All five copies were exactly the same. The same text 
word for word, the same document, five copies signed. The level with Mr. Cummings. Yeah, he was a chairman. <laughs> yeah, so Mr. Cummings was a chairman. So they left all five copies with Mr. Cummings. Mr. Cummings did not give his colleagues their copy or their copies. Mr. Cummings did not also submit the original copy or one of those five copies or the fifth copy to the elections commission as was signed by all four of them. What did Cummings do? Ellis Cummings finger the framework document. <laughs> and I have the specific changes Ellis Cummings made to the document. Let me repeat. It is not just Moose ability that fingers documents. Ellis Cummings finger the framework document. He made fundamental changes to the document in ways he believes can help him. And I will tell you, I will name a few to you. Specific changes that Cummings made. So, you know why Cummings didn't submit the copies? The four copies or the three copies to his three colleagues and one for himself and the fifth original copy goes to the neck because Cummings changed the document. So he didn't want to send copies to them. But they had the draft. Everybody had the draft. It was original that he was going to send the original one where everybody had signed. But everybody had the draft. He fingered the document. <laughs> you want to hear what he thinks? All right, so let me hold you right there and come back. So then they had a meeting two weeks ago. You all remember the meeting comments walked away from? Do you remember the meeting comments walked away from? When he walked away from that meeting, a day or two later, he attended another meeting. They asked Mr. Cummings, Alex, you didn't give us our copies of the framework agreement when you submitted it. Could you please give us the original that you submitted to NAC? The fifth copy. They ain't even asking for their copies, though. The ones he's supposed to give them, though. They're asking him, okay, you know what? Forget it. The one you submitted to the National Elections Commission, can you please give it to us? Wait. Mr. Cummings said, tomorrow I will bring the document. You remember? They issued a statement. They said they asked Mr. Cummings to bring the document. Tomorrow can reach. Two weeks ago, Ellis Cummings said, tomorrow I will bring the document. The document, Ellis Cummings has not submitted the document. <whistles> Mr. Cummings, where is the document? Mr. Cummings, where is the framework agreement you submitted to the National Elections Commission? Mr. Cummings cannot produce the document. Mr. Cummings, where is the document? Two weeks. Mr. Cummings said he was going to bring the document the next day. It's been two weeks. Alice Cummings, the clean man, the man who got integrity, the man who is not corrupt, in two weeks, two weeks have now passed. Ellis Cummings has not produced the document. Now, everybody's wondering, but why hasn't he brought a document? Automatically, everybody is concerned, why hasn't he brought a document? Every, and then the people start looking. They start researching. Then, they managed to get a copy of the document he submitted to the National Elections Commission. He's refusing to bring the document. Do you think Cummings has forgotten that his colleagues asked him to bring the document? No! He hasn't forgotten. He just doesn't want to bring it. Because if he brings it, they will look at it and they will compare it with a draft. And will realize that he made changes. So he said, I ain't bringing no damn document. Even though he said he will bring the document. This is what Cummings did. Fellow Liberians, I'm about to tell you some of the things that Cummings changed in the framework document. Ha! Ooh, Jesus Christ. Forgery is a crime. You know what he did? He made the changes and then he took the signature page. He forged the signature. He took the signature page. All his colleagues signed the document. He attached their signature page to the one he submitted. Jesus Christ. Do you know what it means? I sign one document. I leave it with you. You take the signature page. You sign. You make another document. You make changes. Then you attach the signature page to it and submit it. It's a crime. If Cummings can do that, what isn't he capable of? That's the question you all need to be asking yourself. If Alice Cummings is capable of changing the signature page, changing, making changes to the document, and he has separate. So if you, you are supporting him, you say I'm lying. Fine, just ask him. Cummings, where is the document? You say you will bring it into in the next day. Where is it? 
He can't bring it. It's two weeks. It's two weeks. It has been two weeks. Mr. Cummings cannot bring the document. The man is a criminal. I've never called him that before. But today, I will call him that because, because what he has done or what he did is a crime. Yombly Kanga has written Cummings two reminder letters. Yombly Kanga has written Ellis Cummings two reminder letters. Mr. Cummings, you told us you were bringing the document the next day. Where is the document? I will publish, I will try to get those letters because we all are entitled to it. <laughs> we are all in the CPP. I will get those letters, I will publish them. Yombly Kanga Lawrence wrote Ellis Cummings two reminder letters. Mr. Cummings, I'm writing to remind you to please bring the document you said you would bring. Two weeks, Cummings can reply humbly. But wait now, I thought Cummings is a decent man. I thought Cummings is not a criminal. But, but, but why can't Cummings just bring the document? Why can't Cummings bring the document? Cummings has not brought the document. Cummings can bring the document. Folks, he can bring it. Yombly has written him two reminder letters. Now, I am told she's even considering issuing a statement to that effect. And they should. We demand, folks, that Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence, the current chairperson of the CPP, they need to issue a statement to say that Ellis Cummings has failed to produce the framework agreement. After he promised to produce it the very next day. Two weeks now, he hasn't brought a document. It's inexcusable, folks. Why hasn't Mr. Cummings brought the document? Two reminder letters, no document yet. Two reminder, no document yet. Where is the document, Ellis Cummings? Where is it? The man who has clean hands, the man who is decent, the man he, who is not corrupt. Where is the document? No. Tell, tell Vina Cole, this is no investigation. Mr. Cummings submitted the framework document. They're asking Mr. Cummings to submit the carpet to his colleagues. Mr. Mr. Cummings just has refused to bring the document. That's it. He just hasn't brought the document. He just doesn't want to bring the document. Now why? These are the reasons I'm about to tell you. Why is Ellis Cummings refusing to bring the document? Now he's begging his colleagues to forget about the document. He said he ain't got no original copies to give them. Yeah. He said he has no original copies. Where are the original copies? I thought Mr. Cummings had integrity. I thought he was a man who knew how to manage things. I thought he was a man who had, you know, who had good manage, manage, management skills, administrative skills. Where are the copies of the document? Where are the documents for his colleagues? The man can produce a document. We all need to be asking Ellis Cummings to bring the damn document. We are all members of the CPP. We should all go on Facebook and demand. I call on all my supporters. We should go on Facebook every single day and ask Ellis Cummings to produce our document. Then I have document. Then I have party document. The CPP framework document belongs to all of us. It belongs to all of us. So... The man should produce it. Marimala is our document. We all, after this live podcast, we should all go on Facebook and demand from Ellis Cummings that he should produce our framework document. That is what I'm asking all of you. The man is a criminal. He's a damn criminal. He fingered the document. You, you all were sitting down there and thinking, say, it was Musa Belete who started fingering document first. No, it was Ellis Cummings who started the fingering of documents first. It looks like Musa Belete is a trainee of Ellis Cummings. Because <laughs> Musa Belete fingered the Liberty Party's constitution later on. This year, Ellis Cummings fingered the CPP document last year. Last year. Last year. Who learned from who? It looks like Musa Belete learned from Cummings. Musa Belete learned fingering documents, altering documents, constitutions from Ellis Cummings.
That's what it looks like. Now, I'm about to tell you what Ellis Cummings changed in the document. Are you all ready? Let me tell you. Are you ready to hear what Ellis Cummings changed in the document, the one he submitted to the National License Commission and took the signature page of his colleagues and attached it to a document that they didn't sign? You know what it means? You and I sign one document. Then you, you go, you make changes to that document. Then you take our signatures. Then you attach it to the one you made changes to. That's a crime under the law. It's a crime. You can go to jail for that. It's a crime. The man is a damn criminal. Is this how desperate this man is just to, just to be president? You want to know the changes the man made? Change number one. <laughs> Listen. Change number one. Come his way. In the framework document, the original ones that her colleagues signed, listen to this. On the issue under qualification of candidates for standard barrel, listen, under qualification for standard barrel, number one, they laid out what qualifies you, and under that, they also they state that you must be in a good health and not good health they were very specific and unequivocal and they said you must not have any terminal medical condition which means you must not have the doctors must not have diagnosed you with cancer or something that they say you got six months to live you must have no terminal medical condition that's what the framework document says so they were clear. So you can't just say be in good health. The original document didn't just say that. It said good health was defined in the original document as not having any terminal medical condition. But you know what Cummings did? Cummings removed that. He removed the specificity. He, he removed the, 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 how they broke it down. He removed that. You know what he put there? You must be in good health. Okay. Some of you will wonder. But what's the difference? There is a difference. Suppose I got, I got malaria. Suppose I got malaria and I lay now in the hospital from malaria. Is that good health? Suppose I got typhoid. Just around the, the candidate nomination period, I got typhoid and I'm hospitalized because of the typhoid. Mr. Cummings is saying, you're not qualified to run because you got tied for. <laughs> His colleagues put in the document that the only thing on the basis of health that disqualifies you is that you must have a terminal medical condition. Cummings changed that. He said, you must, not be, you, you must be in good health. Being in good health means if you got malaria, <laughs> that's not good health. If you got typhoid, hey, that's not good health. That's what coming me. So now, for example, if Joe Bwakai is 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 is, is having uh, is in a hospital because maybe his pressure went off, and that will happen to the communist man himself. But he's in his mind, in his sick, twisted mind. He's thinking, okay, Joe Bwakai is more likely to not be in good health than I am. So therefore, eh, we we will we will just water it down, diluted to good health, which makes it difficult to qualify. That's one. Number two. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hold on. I wrote it. I wrote, I wrote it things down. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to go there. I'm going to find it. Number two. Number two. Now they're saying, hold on. I'm going to find I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it shortly. Ooh, these people. The other thing that it made several changes. Now, with regards to the, 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 uh, the, there were no dates. In the original document, I'm told that there were no dates. Specific timelines for the convention to happen, for this to happen, for that to happen. Cummings inserted those ones in the document. There were no dates. You all who are here saying, Allah, Allah. Let your man produce a damn document. If Ellis Cummings produced a document, 
I will be on him every day. Every day. The other issue coming strange in the document. They ask, come and put the conflict resolution mechanism in the CPP document. Cummings made the thing very, very voluminous and convoluted. He made it difficult. That means if you're not satisfied with the way the process went, you can drag, you can drag the whole thing on. Yeah, that's what he did. So, the question is, now here's the interesting thing. They are in the National Advisory Council chat room. Musa Beliti, uh, Cummings, all his people, all of, all of them, they are asking us from the other political parties to not make noise about, about this. Now, I'm not in any party as an official. I'm a flow member of my party, the ALP. So that request does not apply to me. Cummings is asking people from the other parties to not talk about this. But it does not apply to me. I'm not a member of uh their of, of the thing. So listen, I have messages from the chat from, from the chat room. From the chat room. I have messages here. I'm gonna read one of the messages here from the CPP chat room. I'm gonna read the message. Listen to the listen to the message. I'm gonna read the message here so you all can hear it. <laughs> you all need to hear this. You need to hear. I have messages here from the chat room. This is a message here from one of the CPP chat rooms. I hope that the ANC takes note that though we have not received the document since Mr. Cummings committed to provide it since last week, no one has sensationalized it in the press. You see? Even at the last NEC meeting, we specifically inquired about it since the ALP was clear that they would not discuss any other issues because the relevant decisions rely on the framework document. This message is from Amin Mudad. He didn't give it to me. I got sources in the chat, in the chat room. So Amin Mudad, the chairman of Liberty, of your United Party is saying, on, on that yours, your, we ain't going to the press oh, to go sensationalize this. Oh. We're not doing that. We're not going to the press to sensationalize. We are still asking Mr. Cummings, Mr. Cummings, where is the, is the document? Let me tell you something. Let me just say something to y'all. If y'all think y'all can talk the thing, shoo, 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 shoo. Cummings calling all what begging people to, to forget it. You know what he's telling you? Hey, colleagues now, let Jeff forget it. That letter y'all wrote to the National Election Commission, y'all withdraw, y'all withdraw the letter, y'all withdraw, y'all withdraw the letter so that uh, uh, we can just face the document and send it back. But I can't, I ain't got an original copy, but we can face the document and send it back. Let me say this to our political leaders. To my political leader, Honorable Bernard Yuri, to Joseph Human Buaka, to Young Likanga Lawrence, if y'all think y'all will go to the thing inside, so come is now, finger the document. If your thing, you will go talk it inside. So we must say I forget it. I swear to God, I will not attack your we are. I will attack your every day. We do not agree. Commies must produce their document. The commies people got beam up all day. They made it. They made clean. They made it. Your, your, I swear to my mind, tete water. If your ain't made a man produce a damn document yet, I will attack your. I will attack all of your. I will attack Joe Bogart. I will attack Ben and I. I will attack all of your. You want to see me going crazy? I will go. I will go. I will go crazy. I will not sit down there anymore for somebody to tell me nonsense that Ellis coming that good man. He did. He died. You will expose him here. You will talk to us. You will talk to him. Us. No inside talking, Benny. That man will be exposed. So we can humble the man. Let the people know who the man is. You're not talking to the inside. I'm getting this. I'm very mad. Because why are we talking about the criminality of what the man carry out? I see it. people there yet. You lie. And they want yet. They want. We will expose the criminal to the public. We will disgrace him. Yeah, you want me to go crazy on y'all? <laughs> y'all know me. I'm calling on my political leader, Honorable Yuri. I'm calling on JNB. I'm calling on my own sister, Yomli Kanga Lawrence. Y'all gotta make sure 
I dare you. <laughs> I respectfully dare you. Respectfully dare you. To think that you're going to let it inside. Oh, you know, yes. Uh, 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 now he begging you. You know what the man saying now? Oh, you know, yeah, we made a few changes, but it, it, they are not harmful changes. So we just begging you. The letter you wrote to neck and let, let you withdraw it. Then we just face the document and send it back according to. You hear what they saying? That what coming say now? He begging now, Isa. Why are people there also? Oh, the men are good men. The men are clean men. The men are dead men. They they are passing your corrupt. You are corrupt men. Boy, are corrupt men. Everybody corrupt. Come in a clean men. We dare you. We dare you to think that you're going inside to go talk inside. I will mobilize my people. We will pray inside. All of your every day will attack you. If you think that you will go inside to go toilet in here. So that comics can continue to pass around. I let he good man. He clean man. I tell you. Yo, yo, just try me. When I suspend my support from CPP. If you don't make this man a publicly expose this man. I'm going to say it now. If you don't publicly expose this man. That he criminally, maliciously, diabolically, clandestinely, finger, change the CPP document. I swear to God. I will suspend my support for Joe Boakai. For him. I'm saying that right now. If you don't expose this man publicly, I will suspend my support from Joe Boca and from the CPP. If you think I'm lying, you're just trying me. No talking to Insa. Nobody going to the Insa. We will deal with this man. We will expose this man. So if people can get seen, that's what I want us to do. So if people can know who he really is. Because when you told them one, that lie. You told them one, that lie. You told them all one, that, that, that lie. We're exposing men. <laughs> We're exposing men. I hear Yomli is planning to issue a press release tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I will mobilize all my people to suspend our support from, C from CPP until you can expose comments. That the team, Gala Bureau looking like that. Somebody will do wrong, then y'all will say, okay, y'all y'all go inside, we'll go talk inside. No, I'm not accusing them of doing that yellow. I'm not saying that what they do yellow. I'm saying if they think that they will cover their men, but as we can say in Liberia, I will suspend my support. And I will mobilize all my supporters. We will suspend our support. We will not stand for criminality. You can come here, you act like you're better than everybody, you act like you clean, you this, you that, we all will corrupt, we all we all will dead. Then you get out, you be doing, you be fingering that doc documents. Nobody will protect you. I will mobilize all my supporters. We will suspend our support from CPP. Until they can come outside in the public and issue, do a press conference and say, Ellis come in, change, make changes to the document. If you say that one there, I will drink a bottle of champagne and we'll continue the fight. If you're not saying, you think you're going inside to go talk it, you will see. I swear, my day, my Sarah Burton will not come from under the grave to tell me to forget it. I will not listen to Joe Baca. I will not listen to Bernard Ure. I will be on your like, white on rights and I will suspend my support from, C, from CPP. I'm not joking. It hurts me that the man does all kinds of shady bad things and then he be pretending to be a good man. It hurts me. It hurts me. So we got to expose him. We got to expose him. And I know my people agree with me. We got to expose him. What the hell, man? No, don't tell me to be slow to speak. I am not slow to speak. I'm angry. I am angry. The man is a criminal. The man is a criminal. He's he's devilish. He does all kinds of things. Look at the other one they're trying to do now. He got done beyond lobbying agreement to do all kinds of things. Then now the thing now back 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 backfire. Then they want the CPP to say that CPP was beyond the lobbying agreement. He signed a lobbying agreement. We didn't know shit about the lobbying agreement. The lobbying agreement now boss now. Then he asking a friend to say that they're beyond it. Let me see your issue statement and say you're beyond lobbying agreement. I know, I know that Friday I was 
the one that told Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence when I went to the Liberty Party event. I told her about the lobby agreement. She did not know about it. I told her. So let me see your issue statement and say you knew about it. Nobody told me nobody but here. I showed the document to her. I sent the document to Joe Baca, the lobbying agreement. So y'all didn't know about it. And y'all ain't gonna issue no statement to say you knew about it. Can you imagine? You go sign agreement to do your own thing. Then you want Kana and can tell your friend and say, Oh, can we issue a statement and say we all knew about it? We what what we all what? We knew about what? We did not know about it. You didn't know about it. Bwaka didn't know about it. Yomli didn't know about it. We issued no damn statement to say we knew about it. I'm told Yomli is issuing a statement tomorrow. And in that statement, Yomli is expected to say that the CPP didn't know a jing thing about the damn lobbying agreement. You want lobbying for CPP? You tell your colleagues. My people that that thing may say, you want lobbying for CPP. You won't tell your colleagues. You don't tell your colleagues. You go sign your thing. Using other people, you put them in front, you sign, you sign your thing. Then when it backfire now, then you want CPP to say they knew about it. What CPP got 180000 now from? To go sign a lobbying agreement. Nobody issued a statement to cover Ellis Cummings on that lobbying con con contract. I'm told Yomli issued a statement tomorrow, and her statement is expected to say that they don't know a thing thing about the lobbying. You know what they did? They went to force a document. They forced a document to and put Yomli's signature on it and say that the lobbying agreement, Yomli said, whereas we have the original doc document. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They're trying to say Yomli signed the document on behalf of CPP. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So Yomli is his statement tomorrow. But bro, I know nothing about your lobbying agreement. Can you imagine that? Huh? What kind of behavior is this? What, what kind of behavior is this? He calling your friends. They call it all over now. Telling your man, you know, I made some mistake. I made some changes, but the changes are not harmful. Those are his words. He's telling your friend, hey, it's coming out that the changes they made are not harmful. So, uh, uh, what they going to do? They going to talk it in the public. You see the message I just read? I mean, would I put that message in there? The leadership chat, chat room. They're asking everybody to keep quiet. That means to keep quiet. I, I'm not official. I throw a member of my, of my party. I'm not official. But then I hear again, the executive committee of my party, they can't fire me. <laughs> they can't fire me. Yeah? I'm a flow member. They're telling the people to keep quiet. Nobody will talk. I, I just read a message that I mean, would I put in the chat room? ANC, where is the document? You ask all to tell the other people not to talk. The people not talking. Where is the document? Two weeks. Where is the document? CPP. And you see the way I'm angry? I am very angry. You know why I'm angry? When a criminal pretends to be a saint to deceive people, then they look at people who got, who got good integrity, then they try to bam off them, and we catch the criminal bad bad, red handed, and y'all want mango mango? No mango mango in business. I expect Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence's statement that will be issued tomorrow, in which she is expected to say she ain't signed no document for lobbying, she know nothing about lobbying. Eh? <laughs> Can you imagine? They, they, he signed a thing in secrecy. Then he come here, I a friend to say they were behind it. What? What, what? what kind of man this so, my people? What kind of man this so? You sign your thing. Then you come ask the people. The statement tomorrow from Young Lee is also expected to say. That statement is expected to say that Ellis Cummings says promising some two weeks ago to bring the original document that he submitted to the neck. He has failed to produce the document. That statement is supposed to say two things. And my dear sister Yomli, that statement better say those two things. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe you hear me. That statement, my dear sister Yomli, that statement better say those two things. 
Now say me better say that you know about lobbying because I know you know nothing about lobbying. You didn't sign no lobbying contract. You were not part of A. That statement better say that. They won't forge your signature to say you are part of A and you sign on behalf of CPP. That statement better say that. My dear sister Yomri, that statement also better say that it's it, it, it been two weeks now. Alex Cummings can bring the framework document. Two weeks now. That statement better say. But to the coming supporters, I got one question for you. Why your man has failed to bring the document? No, not one question. Two questions. In fact, three. Why your man saying you are going to bring the document the next day? Two weeks now, he can't bring the document. The framework agreement he submitted to the National Elections Commission, why he can't bring the document? That's one. Number two. Why is your man telling his colleagues they will not talk about the fact that he bring the document? That two. Why your man, Christian Cole, clean him man, integrity man, why he can't bring the document, number one. Number two, why he telling a friend and say, you yeah, don't talk. you yeah, please don't talk. Everybody don't talk. Oh, you um, talk. Let's keep it hush hush. Why your man saying that? So I say I drunk. I'm not, I'm not drunk. I'm angry. I don't get drunk. I drink for the stomach's sake. I don't get drunk. I'm angry. You know why I'm angry? I'm angry because the damn man here can act like he too straight. He too correct. I know he's a criminal. Yo, yeah, yes, yeah, now you think you only must have better than one finger document. Now we feel coming that that big finger roll. Big auto roll. We think he's a must have better is the only man in CPP that can see document. Now we coming that the man must have a thing for friend. Y'all tell my sister Yomli that press release she issuing tomorrow better have those two things inside. Then let me tell her how to put what in inside. I heard that what she put in inside already. <coughs> I just ain't want to hear tomorrow that something changed that didn't put inside. That all. <laughs> you please tell my sister Yomli that tomorrow when that press release come all, it will have the two things inside that they say it will be inside. It will, it will be inside. It will be inside. Number one, that she not sign no lobbying agreement. That CPP know a damn thing about any lobbying agreement. Number two, that comes, he bring the framework agreement here. Send two weeks now, him, he bring it. Baby police can't bring the document. You know, I really didn't want to bother this man. But folks, how can I not talk about this thing? How could I not speak about this? The egregiousness, the balls on the man. Your man and son, your partners in an agreement, sign a document. All of you sign a document. You go behind there, you cheat the document. Is that not a crime? It is a crime. It is a crime. I'm angry. I'm sweating. I'm pissed. I'm ready for war. Tomorrow I won't see the press release. It better say those two things. Me pa, my mob boss. I can't talk anything inside. I talk all my own osa. If it bar, I talk your osa. Certain thing there you can go face it. They won't hear you can't face it. They want a criminal behavior. You think document? That criminal, that criminal behavior. You take your friend and signature from different document page. You attach it to the other to the, the document. We sign a contract. We sign a contract here. Yeah. Eh? After we sign it, all our signature there on a on a on a eh? What do you what what do you do? You 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 change the text, you make changes, changes that potentially favor you. Then you take our signature from the last page, then you attach it. You photocopy the signature. You had. It's a crime. It is a crime. <laughs> I'm waiting for the statement tomorrow from the chairperson of the CPP. I 
waiting for the statement. And come in, let the top plenty. Let committee or why he issued the document. I want comments to be disgraced publicly. You know why? I'm not hiding my filio. I'm not hiding my filio. I want this man to be exposed and disgraced. Because I tire now with that nonsense. All day, people telling us shit. He better than Boakai, better than Yuri, better than Costa, better than everybody. I'm tired with the bullshit. You better than us. You went to Coca Cola, your hand clean, you did. You and no got all the solution to face the damn country. You ain't even go nowhere yet. You smell power yet. You already start changing documents. Imagine what a bugger would do if you were president, president. I'm tired with the nonsense here. You ain't no better than nobody. You ain't better than your colleagues. You probably will get evidence on you. So y'all be making more. Y'all a tiny, tiny supporter there on my live video. Y'all be making more. They were exposing. If they don't expose this man as a cheat and a fraud and a forger and a fingerer of documents, I will suspend my support from the CPP and from Joseph Bokai. I'm telling you something serious. If they don't expose their man publicly, and I want no inside talking, they will issue a statement and say, Mr. Comey finally brought the document, and the document he brought, he made changes to the document that the way the statement will read. Otherwise, I will mobilize my supporter. You think we're coming to start doing talking something here in Colo Colo beyond the hall? You think that that, that how we run the country? That one man, I brought looking, looking, looking at it. That one man, when some, when somebody does wrong, and then somebody can tell me, I don't talk. Then he said, please, my man, don't talk. That ain't made like looking like that. When somebody does wrong, something terribly wrong, something as egregious as this, and young one can't say, my man, you let you let you leave it, you let you leave it. That in one second piss me off. In fact, you are what time my mom wants You don't see the wrong? You don't see the criminality? That means you can't talk? Well, we won't forget it. It's not what made a damn country looking like this. So in 200 years, we still backward. Nobody talking to you no damn corner. We will expose a man here. I will buy myself a damn big bottle of Moet Shan Shan Shandong. The very expensive one. And I will sit down on live and drink my freaking champagne. That's what I'm waiting for. All my supporters, I will mobilize them and we will be against you. We're not talking nothing inside. We're not talking nothing inside. We're talking outside. They must issue that statement to say that Ellis Cummings criminally, maliciously, unilaterally made changes to the framework document. They must issue it. When they finish issuing that, let a supporter there in Atlanta stay supporting that their damn business. I don't give a damn. But we must be vindicated. They must issue the statement to say the men are criminal. That all on here. So you have to know I'll figure like a one million dollar in my account. So you issue the statement that Ellis committed a criminal. I will just be fine. If I be broke, say I will just be fine. My main man, Degula. Degula will buy the champagne. We'll celebrate. Degula. When they issue the statement, they buy the champagne. We will go live. I will go live. I will connect you. We will all go live. We will drink the champagne live. That's all I want. That's all I want. They issue the statement. Soon, soon they issue the statement, they come as a criminal. I satisfy. Let the people that stay behind. But we issue the statement. Enough is enough. This nonsense has to stop. All day you're telling all the other day now they be a we are there and 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 oh and he said on what a place name she was on a uh 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 spoon talk talking about the we can't make anybody uh uh stand up barrel because the person may get indicted the person may get indicted she says suppose we go make Joe Baka stand up barrel then they indict Joe Baka they bring sanction on Joe you know, sometimes when you talk, 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 your thing, what you're talking, what you're, your malicious, devilish plans, and you'll be planning.
Na eki ora mo. I don't know what else we have left on that day. But the one kind of I'm going to go debate her. Me go debate you. You on my level to go debate you. You myself we equal. I'm going to go on a show to go debate you. So you can feel that you are you you we equal. You know how long I told the guy yeah. I'm going to go. She said it that day. Some of y'all might have listened to her. She said it. You know, so now you're speaking, you made mistake. Hmm? Certain things will escape your mouth. She said that day. Because that they're deal. All they lobbying thing I hate it on so they can bring something on Joe Burger here so they can try to eliminate Burger from the, from the, from competition. You see? She said that day. You think we're gonna make uh, Joe Burger and uh, Stella Bearer so he, the, he, he, he can get indicted? Oh, indicted? Who oh, indicted Joe Burger? Oh. <laughs> y'all listen to her. Ni my commander, y'all listen to her all day. That they are playing. All your playing now, oh, Osa, we know. I'm waiting. I come and end the live video. I got to go to Philadelphia to go do something. But I'm telling y'all, I'm waiting for that prayer. You see the way I swear to me? I mean, I just said, I'm vexed. I'm vexed. I'm vexed. I'm too vexed. I'm too, I'm too vexed. All day, somebody be talking. And good man. Kate Cotto Johnson, she said, she said, she, yeah, yeah, you did. You're listening all that day. She said, you don't come in there. The man stand up there. Then, when you know, then they entice the man. Ah, that they're playing. <laughs> That the thing coming then working. Then at the lobbying agreement, huh? you want all to go issue statement and say we behind the agreement. We ain't behind shit. We're not behind nothing. CPP, we know nothing. We get money to go pay 180000 now for lobbying agreement. We get money. Are you get it? Sugar water money. We're not behind it. Look at that man, that's all. You go enter Yomli party, you own a man and woman. You go to Delon office, you pay people, they don't leave. You just own a man and people. All day. What kind of desperation, that's all. What kind of nonsense, that's all. Where were you? You left the country 35 years ago. You didn't do a ding thing in the damn country. You retired from Coca Cola 2016 before you remember that you're a Liberian citizen. Now you can't hear now. You want to you want to sit down on people's head. You want to jump the damn line. You want to ride tarot on Joe Joe Burger popularity. You want to ride tarot on your friend, eh? but you won't do it. Eh? The Nicodemus way. We let that damn thing happen, and it's not going to happen. Some of y'all can sit down there and say, "Let a man be VP." I ain't support a man to be no damn VP. I trust that man. And trust that man. You want VP what you can't you can't trust? Who wants a, a VP you can't trust? A VP must be loyal. The best VP is the most loyal VP. I ain't trust that man. I support him for no VP. And I have made it very clear. Privately, and I'm making it clear publicly. I don't support him for a VP. Joe Burger can be president. We'll all come as being VP. We'll find somebody else in CPP and make them the VP. Ready for it. My hey ha. When I'm ready, I can get crazy. I can't listen to nobody. When I'm ready, I can get crazy. I ended the video now. Y'all try me. Y'all CPP people. Y'all my own people. Y'all try me. Y'all will see. I will take my bazooka from Jawia. I get turned to CPP camp. That way I'm going to turn it. Y'all try me. I will mobilize my people and I will tell them that the thing y'all will do when y'all come to power tomorrow, if y'all want to talk something, swear, 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 swear. Inside, y'all will see. Y'all will just try me. We we'll expose a man. And I will celebrate. I will drink a cold bottle of Moet Chandon and I will go to, I will go, I will go to sleep after I finish drinking it. Y'all bye bye.